Hi, I'm Beverly Baldwin in my garden with this lovely pot by Potter Jeff Stewart of Oceanside, California. And I took it to the nursery and paired it with this lovely ruffled echeveria. This is Echeveria tsunami. <laughs> you know, the waves, that's a kind of a clever name. But the reason why I like the two together is that the, the blue-green of the Echeveria went really well with the glaze on the pot. And I like the way the pot frames the plant. Sometimes all you need is one great pot and one great plant. But I do like to have a third element, and that's top dress. Because anytime soil is showing, it looks unfinished. We also have oh, Jeff Stewart. Yes. Yeah, this is Oceanside artist Jeff Stewart. Yeah, local guy. Very interesting. That'll be fun to see what Jeannie does with these. And, and I think I gave this one to you originally, didn't I? You did. <laughs> Both of these were gifts. Yeah. What have we got? We just so happen to have some of these cuttings. Okay, those are Gollum. Yep, and they repeat that oh. circular tubing uh -huh. in the pot. Crassula ovata Gollum, named after the, uh, the character in Tolkien's books. Mm -hmm. a, a few of the little shells oh, in there. Yeah, you don't mm -hmm. need a whole lot because the plant yeah. is going to cover just about everything. But I think that that is just one more uh, little thing with it to say, oh yeah, that looks like something under the sea without overdoing yeah, it, without right. It. And when people give you cuttings um, and give you pots, you think about them every time you uh -huh. look at them in your garden, which is a really great <laughs> thing. Yeah, my garden is a whole scrapbook. <laughs> so this was also a gift. Uh -huh. And uh, it, this gift was from uh, Katie Christensen. Uh -huh. Oh, how perfect. Crassula ivory pagoda. Uh -huh. It has leaves that, that flare in a very similar color to the pot. One plant, one pot, perfect pairing. Gorgeous. <laughs>